got a little bit of steam in our background. And while Stevie's playing, I got something I need to tell you all. I did a video talking about trust accounts yesterday, showing how the United States government has thousands of trust accounts that they've set up. Now, even in the document, they claim that their definition of a trust account is not the same definition of a trust account that you understand. That as the officer, truster, and trustee, and beneficiary, that the trusts that are set up by the United States government, they not only control, pay attention, the grantor's position, but also the beneficiary's position. Now, before I found that, I knew that, yes, that could happen. Yes, that people could do that. And so all of the new trust accounts do exactly that. Now, that video took twice, and it took an hour each time. And each time something went wrong, which means that these idiots are tapping into my system while I'm going on the internet and showing you guys stuff while well, they're tapping into the back end and messing things up. See, every time I click on this program, these things that are lit up right here automatically light up every single time. Why? Because that shows the information that I'm accessing always. So I don't have to do it every time because you forget to do one and you ain't a stout. Well, ladies and gentlemen, yesterday, none of them were clicked and I didn't notice it because I don't have to look at it. Once you do it once, that's it. You've done it. Yay! Okay, but not with this particular day doing that particular video. None of them were lit up. So that means there is no audio. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Y'all y'all don't understand me because I know y'all don't believe me. Hold on now. Hold on. Because like I said, I knows y'all because I got a lot of doubters out there who be finding their way to my videos because they stuck on crack. They don't take me at my word. And it's all right. You don't have to take me at my word. I'm supposed to prove everything I talk about. See, you just sit up there and you just mouth off stupid stuff and you don't have to prove nothing. But because me and who I be, I's got to prove everything. Everything. No sound. Trust fund. That's the video right there. No sound. Trust fund. Look at that. One hour and three minutes and 57 seconds. 57 seconds, okay? That's what's going on. I'm trying to start it, but, you know, it don't seem like it wants to start. I double click, and then I'm going to close this because we don't need that open no more. Okay, now we got some things to show y'all, so y'all just hold on a second. Hold on now. Ladies and gentlemen, I know for a fact that you and I, because we're going to be talking about administrative law in a second, and we're going to look up 32 CFR 371. And we're going to look up 32 CFR 363. We're going to look at 32 CFR 396. We'll look at all of them. Why are we going to do that? Because notice this, Defense Security Assistance Agency. Has anybody ever heard of the Defense Security Assistance Agency, the DSAA? Anybody ever heard of that? I ain't never heard of that, but it, look at this. Early intervention service provisions for eligible infants. Eligible infants. Now, we know what an infant is, don't we? You know what an infant is. My mama knows what an infant is. Oh, you think it's a baby? Oh, that's so tweet. You think it's a baby? Ah, oh, that's so tweet. An infant is not a baby. An infant and a minor and a juvenile are the same. It is a person who has yet to attain the age of 18 throughout the United States, called the Age of Majority Act. And, hold on now, if you have attained the age of majority, pay attention, if you have attained the age of majority, but you ain't got control of them securities, man, you still an infant. It's the law! Okay, um, it's the statute. Okay, here's the thing. Did you know, I'm going to see if I can pull it, well, it's still not responding, so let's close it. I got to pull up a document. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get things organized and then I'll be right back. All right, y'all. Uh-oh, my whole system froze for a second. Ooh-wee, and it shouldn't be frozen, y'all. Let's minimize you. Yeah, it's frozen. So let me pause y'all for a second. Okay.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry. It took me a couple of seconds. I had to make sure I was pulling up a couple of documents. I had to make sure those documents that I was pulling up didn't have anybody's personal information in it. And it didn't. And because it didn't, I want to show you guys something, 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 something. This is a document that someone sent to me. This one is called Infant Revest. Okay, now the Infant Revest document has people, talks about blog spots. Boris, end game, end of life. Hey, whatever happened to Boris? Anybody know about Boris? I am some dude. Whatever happened to Boris? I am some dude. All right. Um, Boris was talking about the infant. And again, the infant is missing. Remember I told you all, you have to do, now there is this thing about proof of life, but he also understands that you have to rebut presumption. America's jurisprudence, proof of facts, volume 28, okay? Proof of facts, second edition, fact of death, presumption of death from absence, rebuttal of presumption, administration of an absentee estate, pay attention, ladies and gentlemen, under a court's general powers, yes, the court's general power of guardianship, sovereign guardianship, is not binding on the absentee unless he is in fact dead. And all acts done by an administrator, that's you, under letters granted for a person who is supposed to be dead, but who is in actuality alive, are null and void. That's right. Even where every step in the proceedings were taken to perfect regularity. Ladies and gentlemen, I would definitely look this up. Presumption of death from absence. Now, you guys know about casetext.com? Yes, I'm promoting casetext.com. Not because I'm invested in casetext.com, but it is a very relevant source. It beats Pacer every day of the week. Now, look. State of New Jersey. This is Mercer's Beasley Law Review. And you know what? I'm about to go look at that. This common law presumption of death has now become fixed by statute in most, if not all, of the states in the United States. Our first New Jersey statute relates to the subject, was related to the subject, was enacted in 1797. It was declarative of the common law at the time and is commonly known as the death act to provide as follows section number one any person who shall remain beyond sea or absent himself or herself from this state or conceal himself or herself in this state for seven successive years successively shall be presumed to be dead 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 mother okay in any case wherein wherein his or her death shall come into question unless proof be made that he or she is alive when that time but an estate recovered in any such case if in the subsequent actions or suit the person so presumed to be dead shall be proved to be living and shall be restored to him or her who shall have been evicted and he or she may also demand and recover rents and profits of the estate. During such time, he or she may have been deprived of the cost. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, thank you, Mr. Boris, I am some dude. This was more than likely sent to me by Francis. You guys remember Francis? Well, I spoke with Francis about a week and a half ago. Francis is doing okay. All right, gotta be calling her a little bit more because that's my girl. All right, but Francis is doing okay, and she appreciates all of your well wishes. Just wanted me to let you guys know, to let you guys know that. Okay. It will also be noted the Death Act provides that a person who has disappeared shall be presumed dead, and that its terms apply to any person, whether a resident or not, and it further provides that the restoration of his or her estate of the person presumed dead if he returns alive. Alive! Alive! How do you prove you're alive? You can't do so administratively. Do you know a medical doctor cannot prove you are alive? Oh, I didn't want to download. Oh, that's going to take forever. 
always and forever. <laughs> Each moment with me. Uh, no. Uh, I said no. Gotta go. Bye bye. All right, we're gonna go back here, cause this is this is part of where I said we were gonna go in the first place. Let's get rid of you. Hey, knowing love the way I do, I can say for certain that it's true. <laughs> this is Luther. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, these two codes here, well, they're the same code, but take a look. You notice how this one is 32 CFR 644.363, okay? Which means that there are two separate codes here that it's relating to. I didn't ask for these two. We're going to pull up uh, chapter 32 CFR 363. I remember not so long ago, I was just a lonely person with a lonely heart. Luther, y'all. Yeah. All right. What I am doing right here is I put up the death act because many people have been asking. This is the direction I'm headed in, but I'm also adding in a couple of more features from things that I've learned while I was on vacation. That's right. You heard me say that. Um, we are looking specifically not for no death penalty. We're looking for the death act. And so what happens is we have death here, but act, it did not give me the uh, this right here. State of Florida Supreme Court. Look at that. It says... It will be noted that the Death Act provides that a person has disappeared. So this is somebody introducing this to the state of Florida Supreme Court. More than likely, if you go and you look at that case, you know what? I'm interested in this document. So let's go ahead and pull this document. You guys, give me a second. This is one of you calling. Like I said, that was one of you. And when I tell you people I answer my phone, I do answer my phone. However, this is Sunday, so what most people don't understand, even though I'm on the West Coast, people call every day of the week. Okay, so the thing is, I don't mind answering my phone every day of the week, but if you're going to call me, respect my time. That, that's it! That's all it is! Okay, sorry, ladies and gentlemen, this person is going against the bank and they were doing an appeal. And so when they did the appeal, they talked about their Pay attention. Sovereign rights. Okay. See? By asserting my sovereign rights to represent myself in legal matters to establish my status as my own attorney. Really? Ladies and gentlemen, attorney is their word. You don't see it anywhere at common law. Okay. The court disqualified defendant's attorney of record. Uh, active. Okay. Uh probably tried to get rid of that attorney in the court didn't let her and probably played a lot of games but i am and they even put the certificate is not a license ah that's all right and uh practice of law is a right of common occupation actually the supreme court in sims versus errands is only two pages sims versus errands didn't say that they just said no state may license the practice of law because the practice of law cannot be licensed by any state that it is not a matter of state grace. They said the same thing in... Dang it. Oh, God. Henry, and I can't think of the name. Gar uh, no, it starts Garner. Okay, Henry Garner. And then in Schwer versus the Board of Examiners. Schwer versus the Board of Examiners is the more recent decision by the Supreme Court that happened in 1940s. 1946, I think it was. Don't list it right here, but that's Schwer versus the Board of Examiners. Schwer was an individual who they claimed was a member of the Communist Party. And they said, no, no, you ain't joining this bar. And he like, oh, yes, I is. And they said, oh, no, you ain't. You one of them Jehovah Witnesses. 
Yeah, I ain't nobody Jehovah with me. What the f you talking about? And he said, well, anyway, we're going to treat you like one of them. You ain't joining nothing. And he went to the Supreme Court, and the Supreme Court said, well, as long as he ain't a Jehovah with me, he can join. Okay, we got too many other cases dealing with them fools. So, no, he can join. If he was one of them, then we would just sit up there and table it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, when you guys are writing the court, stop explaining to them what the law is. They already know. They already know what the law is. Just tell them, you don't have my permission. You don't have a right to do this. I am a citizen of blah 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 state, and as a citizen of this state, you must respect my status as such. I have not consented to be handled administratively, and then you go from there. You can say whatever you want to at that point. Okay. Now, this person is, this document is dealing with the trying to force a lawyer on this person. I'm looking. Who is this? This is the Commodores. I, 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 uh -uh. I, I ain't doing that. They, they doing Jesus' love or something. I ain't got time for that. I, I knew it. It was something about it. it. Didn't sound right. It sounded like Lionel, but you know, who? Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'm looking for the death thing. So let's do that. We're gonna control F. And the person I was just talking to, uh, the one who just called, we're gonna talk about this in a second. When I just called this, uh, the one who just called me. I was explaining to him because he asked if I did any classes he wanted to join my program. Ladies and gentlemen, if you go to eon.tv, you can't sign up for anything. That's why it says coming soon. We're, we're, I'm not even set up with that site yet. I got too many other things going on. So y'all just going to have to hold up. The Eon channel is my channel. When I say coming soon, that means as soon as I get to it. Not when you ready. So stop asking me about it, okay? Because you're just going to get my attitude. I told you I don't like repeating myself, and some of you guys are making me repeat myself, and you're going to make me, whew, you're going to make me come out of my spirit. I'm sorry. I've always hated that term when I first started hearing it, and I was hearing it on the, uh, what's the name of that stupid show? Uh, this is Us. And <laughs> anyway, <laughs> you know, uh, yeah, I understand. If an infant or an incompetent person does not have a duty duly appointed representative he or she may sue in the in next best friend and all that stuff this is information that i put out there as a matter of fact it's the document right here that i was pulling up that was taking so long infinite state okay this is laws that i pulled out of corpus juris secundum okay obligation to his parents and have other results but does not remove all the disabilities of infancy now hold on this is their their rules so you have to figure out how to get around these stupid rules so we're going to do control f sorry we can't do that in microsoft word like that because that's going to take me all over the place no let's do this we're going to do maintenance m-a-i-n-t-e-a-n-c-e -E. uh oh ain't got no maintenance um dang it what's the other word maintenance education nope don't have that i'm looking for you guys you have to give me a second because that's what i gotta find there is one that actually speaks about maintenance and education that's important it actually turns out that the word maintenance is in here so let's see if what i'm looking for is in here because that's what i'm looking for uh-oh Hold on. I'm I'm not looking for that maintenance. So yeah, y'all gonna have to hold on because it's probably in here a second time and I gotta go find things. So y'all hold on. Okay, had to go take care of a couple of things. As a matter of fact, there was one other thing that I needed to take care of that I didn't. And that was plugging this thing in to a different power source because the power source I had it plugged into was running low. So now 
make sure before I unplug it that it's plugged in so that I don't have to do another video because that right there would be horrific <laughs> horrific okay I had to go and turn on the generator and I just got finished setting up some tents uh let's see infant is no longer dead missing okay this is hey i can't show this video because this is a social security number okay that's why i can't show this video this document is not a document that someone sent me hold on let me show y'all oh sorry yes i can this is actually filed in the court so this is filed publicly i like my my concern is is if i do it i cannot take your information and publicize it and i'm not going to take her information and publicize it i just remembered because i went i've been doing so many other different things that i'm trying to keep it all in control she used the exact same information that's in that document she literally copied it word for word ladies and gentlemen you cannot rely on somebody else's words you have to do the looking up of the information yourself okay and i don't know whatever happened with this case okay i do like the fact that but see this that's okay that's new jersey okay you're not in new jersey so you have to use the law in your state or use it in such a general way that you don't say this is the law in new jersey you say this is generally known generally the case okay you remember generally true man generally that's that mother man okay so now that you know hold on uh this is the case we just pulled up i won't be posting that online irish statute ebook irish uh such uh meeting of parliament don't care about that i'm looking for this death act okay so result of death cause wrongful death nobody we're not talking about wrongful death we're talking about the actual death act now see it is to be noted that the death act provides that a person okay it is to be noted the death act these are all quotations from the same document so i don't want that i don't want their quotations i want the actual death act 1984 uh, 85 the statute of nevada index nevada legislator uh oh go back don't want to go forward uh ushers in my background talking about somebody's gotten it bad man they shouldn't have gotten it if they wouldn't have gotten it they wouldn't have to worry about having it you know what i'm saying okay let's get back to where we were give me timmy 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 okay judicial discrimination full faith and credit states public acts records judicial some of the early death act cases refusing to apply foreign law i think that i want this this is from you better believe it ladies and gentlemen you better believe i want that one so we're going to be opening up that one and we're going to open up this one look i want to show you guys everything we're going to take the 2011 hold on these are both nevada so we're going to open up that one and this one this is irene Kara. okay and she's going to be just a little bit louder while I'm doing the search. That your fear seems to hide deep inside your mind. I don't think there are any infants. Yeah, see. Oh, it says one. Autism, infants, toddlers, early intervention. Thank you. 
Miss Kara. I hope that young lady's doing all right. All right, infant. Let's do. We're gonna do death. What a feeling! What a feeling, y'all. And then death and injuries. I see that right there. How many deaths? So we have seven deaths, eight deaths. And make it happen. You know, she can't have it all. She wants it all, but she can't have it all. Uh oh, 27 to 30. Huh. And no. 32. Now I hear what? Close my eyes. I am what? And a what? Flash like flash dance. Okay, accident resulting in death. I'm not going to go through every one. I'm trying to see if it will have anything similar to what we're looking at. And as you can see, Nothing is popping up that's anywhere near close. Transfer on death act. Okay, real property transfer, non-probate transfer of property, uh, cruelty to animals, uh, review of death victims, death certificates, no transfer of death, resulting in death procedures. No, 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 no. Give me one second. I'll be right back. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, there are a bunch of documents being placed online. Again, these are documents that I've had on my uh, computer that I'm putting in the trust document section. Okay. That's where they're going to be. Even the IRS secret CID handbook. Okay, now that one was 52 megabytes. That took a minute. All right, but this is my infant folder. And there's a lot of documents in here that won't be going up there. Now they say the birth certificate odyssey, we ain't going to be perpetuating that junk. Okay, and then... I think I already did these. Never to make a mind, baby. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. This is so fresh. She's fresh. This is cool and the game. Hey, you guys want to know how to pull your birth certificate, Vaughn? I'm going to put that up there. Uh, do what you can with it. It might be helpful. Then we got a handbook on common law pleadings. I'll put that in there too so that you guys can have it. Now, we're not going to go through the whole list here because <laughs> there is a whole lot of documents here, ladies and gentlemen. Just in this section, just under infant, there's 299. Okay. Uh, getting a CUSIT number. There's that information. I don't know what's in there. Okay. People been asking about this stuff. I'm putting it up there. It says that most of these documents are already up there. That's the ones in red. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's right. Because remember I said I thought I already had it in there. So, yeah, those are those three. I had already done them. Didn't know it. Didn't remember. Because it was so long ago. All right. We've got common law. They're the same size, so that means they're the same document. I'm looking to see if uh, I'm looking for infant, not birth certificate, though. But because they mentioned infant, okay, judicial notice, nobody cares. 
uh, Arkansas Secretary of State, thesis on equitable remedy, thesis on suits in chancery. I'll put these two theses up there. And authenticating birth certificates, PDF, I will not, I refuse. Uh, because I'm, I'm not a believer in authenticated birth certificates. As I said, they have three seals on every birth certificate, at least three seals. It's already authenticated under the Full Faith and Credit Act. But maybe people don't understand the Full Faith and Credit Act and what the Full Faith and Credit Act means. You know what I'm saying, Vern? Hmm. La, 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 la. She's fresh. Uh, the Brown Book, Volume 3. I don't know who the Brown Book is, but I think y'all going to find out. And I think that's it. The Morris Pendulum Book. Yeah, I think y'all, Morris, who don't have access to it, there you go. And... Oh, by the way, the gentleman who wrote that document to the Supreme Court did the writ of certiorari. I did attempt to communicate with him. He has not gotten back with me. So guess what? Oh, well. Uh, I did ask him a couple of questions, and that was it. And that was all. And I think probably about two more documents, and I'm going to continue with our conversation. See, that's the WABN. We already had the information all together, and then people were following right behind us, copying us, and doing what we did, and messing it up for everybody. Because they could not sit up there and create their own. They had to copy word for word what we were doing, which blocked us from doing what we were doing. That's why this time around, ladies and gentlemen, we ain't telling none of y'all where we're sending stuff. Y'all not getting copies. We, 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 we were doing that as a courtesy. Nobody else gives you copies. We're not going to give you no copies. That's why they do that. Not because we don't want nobody in competition. I don't care who's in competition with us. The problem is when all of you are sitting up here shortcutting it, starting your own little groups, and then doing hundreds of them for the people, yeah, you're pissing off the system. And you're messing it up for everybody. One person messes up for everybody. And that's what y'all been doing. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I go by the name of Eon. I had an individual communicate with me and she continued to call me Brett. Look here, you ignorant. I'm sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, you don't get to call me whatever you want. When I say that from now on, my name is Eon, that's my name. You will call me by that name. You don't get to call me whatever the f you want. Now, I know I know some of you think that, hey, you're going to do it anyway. Go ahead and try me. Go ahead and try me and see how I block all of that. See, I'm the one in control of you communicating with me. I'm the one in control of you sending text messages and emails. I will put you on a block list with Google, put you on a block list with our system, put you on a block list with the people at SACCOT. You won't be communicating anymore at all. See, that's called, I have the authority to do that. So I'm the grantor over that right there. You want to communicate with me, you will do it my way. You will not do it any way you want to. But that's the same for you. I don't give up what you say about how you get to be communicated with. Because if you tell me you don't like the way I communicate, I will stop communicating with you. You ain't even got to say it twice. Okay. I'm sorry. I just had to say that because that person was attempting to offend me. And that person will swear up and down, no, I got the utmost respect for you. F you. Because you know exactly what you were doing. See, to say it once is okay. To say it twice, all right, all right. Three times, okay. But five times and... One communication? Yeah, okay. I got the point. You got my attention. You got my attention. Ladies and gentlemen, I cannot find what I'm looking for. 
and I it's uh it did come from I am some dude, Boris, and it was from Corpus Juris Secundum, and it talked about how a minor may petition the court for maintenance and education. Okay, it literally said that, ladies and gentlemen. If you are a minor and you have not gained control of the securities in your account, and if you haven't gained control, then you are a minor. Okay? Just that simple. Just that simple! Hold on. We already did the land patent, so I'll put this junk right here. Uh... Okay, y'all, I'll put this stuff here because these are all PDFs. Ah, uh, law of fraud, greatest story ever told. Guide to Bill of Exchange. Bill of Exchange, 70 great conspiracies of all time. Bankers, law of uh, obligations. All right, don't say I ain't never did nothing for y'all. Okay. Because y'all got a ton of documents up here in the trust document section. Yeah, I know there are some files, but let's see. Then we ain't putting it up there if it already exists. All right, that's the limit of that. Now, we're going to go on because I don't want this video being an hour. Ladies and gentlemen, I was just looking for that document because if an infant gets to sit up there and have maintenance, and that's what I put in to let's see i uh yeah i put two l's um give me one second uh-oh see keep hitting the wrong button one more see I'm tired. I really, really, really is tired. Oh, come on now. I was out there in the sun all morning putting up two tents. I got two 12-person tents that I'm going to use for storage. Storage! And because I'm going to use these 12-person tents for storage only, I was putting them up. It's supposed to be a two- to three-person job. It was one person! And so I was out there making sure I locked everything in because there's a lot of wind that blows out here and i need to make sure these tents don't just fly away because they will fly away and i don't feel like chasing down no tent let's get rid of the word infant i use the word infant come on up it don't want to cooperate remember a minor and an infant are the same thing Hey, come on now. We're going to do both state and federal. Come on now. Y'all know what to do. Really? Oh, it's supposed to be May. There should be something showing up. This should not be. Oh, I'm sorry. That's what it was. Those were supposed to be gone a while ago. That's why it's pulling up nothing because there's nobody that says those exact words. I'm ruffamating. Ruffamating? Ruffamating. You just create another word? I sure did. Ruffamating. It's like playhousing, but you rough a guessing. So I'm ruffamating. All right? Okay. Uh, his former wife for the maintenance of herself and their children. Okay. Remember, it says a minor may petition the court for maintenance. Okay, so that's what I was interested in. And maintenance and education, for their maintenance and education. That's the phrase. Okay, to hold that it is the manifest interest of these two minors and for the protection of their health and the promotion of their happiness that they should be removed from the care and control of their testamentary, pay attention, testamentary guardian and placed in the care and custody of the natural mother and then to hold that these two children are not entitled to anything from the father's estate hold on y'all 
Let's get rid of this. What y'all doing? Get get rid of here. Nobody asked you for this. Go on now. All right, pay, pay attention. They say they're not entitled to anything from their father's estate for their suitable maintenance and education. These two children are wards of Chancery Court of uh, Salisbury County and equity and justice. Equity and who? Nobody asked you to go there. What y'all doing? Told you they'd be messing with my computer, y'all. Okay. Uh, we're going to go back here. Take me back to where I was if you're going to do all of that. Go sit up there and mess me up. Take me right back to where I was so I can continue and try to make me lose my thought. All right. Tusby County. And equity and justice will not permit the court in one decree to place the two minors in the care and custody of their mother. And in the next breath, to these two minor children, you are in the care and custody of your mother, but the court cannot aid you any further. Therefore, you will have to depend on charity and other means for your support. Your mother is not able, if your mother is not able to support you, you have property under your father's will for your maintenance and support. But the court will have to give you blah, blah, blah. Okay. Now, this was not a breach of the supplemental contract in which the Neuberger agreed to make suitable provisions for their children, maintenance, care, and education, and support to the extent that it may be fully applied to the but maintenance and education is the phrase. And I said education and maintenance. And so I did it backwards. Okay. So hold on. That's Newberger versus Newberger. This is where we just read it. Like I said, it's playing with me. It don't want me to go nowhere. That's why I had to turn the generator on so the computer didn't cut off and we had problems. Problems, you know what I'm saying? Problems. All right. Maintenance and education in no way considered upon the court leave to their testamentary guardian. You know, circumstances. Uh, 1923, support maintenance and education of children should cease if the court saw fit to exercise jurisdiction with the parties agreed. Let's size, let's say we're going to do it this way. I apologize. So let me put y'all on pause for a second. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, hold up this case. Eflin versus Eflin. You Eflin? Mother Eflin? Anyway, in Eflin versus Eflin, the court found that public policy favors providing support for minor children and therefore a parent can request support at any time during the minority of the child. Pay attention. Now the Treasury has told us what minority means. Council of Appeal, in his brief, argues first that since the statute, Georgia statute, requires the court, when granting the decree of divorce, to make provision for custody and support and education of the minor children of the marriage, that the two things go hand in hand. It is that the court must. Either do both or neither. The court cannot make an order for maintenance of the minor children unless it also makes an order for custody of the minor children. Yeah, if you're going to order the parent to take care of the child, you have to order custody of the child to that parent. If you're going to be taking care of them, you got the right to. That's what, that's what the other court was saying. Hey, I can't do both. We regard the contention as being without substantial merit. Second, that because tendered in case. Supra, the court held that the order made should act prospectively and not retrospectively. In order, no order could be made in this case pertaining to the support of the children after the divorce and before the application was filed. Even if that were true, 
it did not justify the trial court quashing and dismissing the appellant's petition. We think the holding in Tea Gardener or Tea Garden, Tea Garden. Man, I had a tea garden the other day. Anyway, case resulted in factual situation. Then being considered in a case cited clearly discloses that under certain circumstances, the court may blah, 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 blah. We're talking about general guardianship. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I don't have that document. I wish I did where it says, but as you hear, it is a public policy for the maintenance and education of minors. Okay, watch this. Well, this is 1985. We said we we're going to pull that up. So I got to wait for it to pop up because it ain't showing up yet. This is 1985, Index of Statute Resolution in 1985, abortion. Let's go to death, all right? Wait, hold on. I don't think it did it. Okay, let's do that again. Nope, it didn't do it. So we got to go to D. I tried to do control F. Okay, it finally did it. Uh, that's not death. Okay, death judgment, justice court of the district court, death council cell. Substance penalty. Nope, that's not the one I want. Let's go back to the first one. Domestic violence, statutory provisions supersede the NRAP. Remove no connection in terms used for proceedings held on appeal. Justice Court of the District Court. Correction of term used for proceedings held on appeal. Yeah, that's not telling me everything I need, so no, we can't do that. Okay, this is judicial discrimination and full faith and credit. This is a law review, ladies and gentlemen. So let's do infant. Okay, infant does not appear. Nope, minor, William Minor, life professor, Virginia School of Law. Uh, let's see. No estate, no infant, no minor. Hold on now, we don't download this thing. Uh, okay. Well, we do have a state, so let's see. No reinstatement approach. Home state. Just looking for the word estate. That's the last one. Okay, so I, I, I can't find it that way. We can go all the way back up. Because I saw something that caught my attention. So we ain't going to cover everything. But I will copy this document and put it up. It's 66 pages, y'all. 66 pages. I think it might have some pretty good... Uh, some pretty good case law in here. Waiting for it to get to the next page. Supreme Court ruled that state courts are ordinarily required as a matter of full faith and credit clause to take jurisdiction of claims arising under sister state law, their own wishes notwithstanding. Okay. All right. I get the sister state laws. Uh, jurisdiction stripping setting, therefore, draw a little support. All right, I'm going to download it anyway. 
and then get back to why I was doing this video. Ladies and gentlemen, on new contracts, there is embedded in the agreement a contract between the new sub, uh, the new sub packer and the government. The government says that they loan money to people all the time. They created these trusts for which to loan money. Because they created these trusts, and I gotta wait for that to pull up, but hold on. Let's see. You know what, ladies and gentlemen? We have the write-off documents. Hold on. I'm going to add these documents up there as well for the tax credit. So I'm going to make that executive decision. Department of the Treasury. No, we can't give you guys this one. Woo! Can't give you guys that one. That's the official one that went to the Treasury So and the IRS. So we're going to give you guys this one where we put some laws you might be interested in. Okay? Right off proceeding. Okay? We're gonna, I'm going to put that one up there today so you guys will have access to that. But there are a couple more that I want to show you all. Nah, that that's mine. Uh, now, this is a document that California has. They say you must fill out this document. Must fill this out when you purchase a property. And if you fail to turn it in, when you record the property, then it's considered you waive the right to be exempt and all of that. It's called a preliminary change of ownership report. Uh, Mr. Gene Elkins, who's not late, he's still living. Gene Elkins is the one who told us about that. Uh, no, where is it? No, that ain't it. Well, sorry, got to take y'all here. I thought I saved it. I didn't save it. So that means that it's up here. Okay, Federal Trust Fund Accounting Guide. This is already on the site. In the same section, the trust information, Federal Trust Fund Accounting Guide, that's the title, okay? This lets you know that the government sets up trust all the time. See, federal funds, and then you have the trust funds. And some of the funds, they keep a record of, but because the federal funds or deposit funds, another legal title, collect receipts that do not belong to the federal government, they're excluded from the federal budget. So Congress be allocating money all over the place that they don't document because the receipts don't belong to the federal government. What the does that supposed to mean? Lord have mercy. Ladies and gentlemen, that's one document. Let me show you the other document. Y'all need to go over these because you want to understand about the different trust funds and whether or not you have an account with the Treasury because the Treasury is the trustee for these trust funds. You need to read that because that proves you do have an account with the government. Okay, let me show it to you again. Sorry, wrong button. Whew. Go back here. Federal government account structure consists of the following types. Trust, special, general, revolving, deposit. The federal funds is a revolving See, accounting for trust revolving funds is similar to that of revolving funds for the federal funds group. They don't have to keep track of them revolving ones like a gun. They revolving. And you just play in Russian roulette. Okay, don't know who want to play some roulette, but Russian roulette, just take a little marble and spin it. Man, that, that that's a nice little game. Take a little marble and open it to land on black. Well, you know, that's what they hope that something will land on black because, you know, you rub the head of a black person and get some good luck. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. Let's pull up both of these documents because both of them are on the website. So, ladies and gentlemen, this document right here, told you to try to do the video yesterday. It didn't work out. I'm going to do the video now. All right. State of California, Department of Real Estate, trust funds, and how they handle trust funds. Everything is trust. Everything they do is trust. In this document, it tells you that the realtor and the broker, they deal with trust monies all the 
time. It's all about trust, people. But these are not the regular trust. Real estate brokers and salespersons receive trust funds on a normal course of doing business. They do it all the time. Okay, now we're going to go to this. This is the actual treasury law where it talks about federal trust funds group and the trust funds group. Okay, and it talks about what these trust funds are, but I want you to notice what the treasury has to say as to what trust fund means. The federal government uses the term trust fund differently than the way in which it is commonly used. In common uses, the term is used to refer to a private fund that has a beneficiary who owns the trust income and may also own the trust asset. A custodian or trustee manages the assets on behalf of the beneficiary according to the terms of the trust agreement as established by the trustor. Neither the trustee or the beneficiary can change the terms of that agreement. Only the trustor, unless it's a revocable agreement, can change the terms of the agreement. In contrast, the federal government owns and manages the assets and earnings of most federal trust funds of most not yours but of most federal trust funds he didn't say of all says of most and can unilaterally because they created these unilaterally change the law to raise or lower future trust fund collections and payments and change the purpose for which the collection is used only a few small federal trust funds yours and mine are managed pursuant to a trust agreement whereby the government acts as the trustee. Even then, whereby the government acts as the trustee. Even then, the government generally owns the funds, generally, generally, generally owns the funds and has some ability to alter the amount deposited onto or into or paid out of the fund. Ladies and gentlemen, let me explain something to you. You must understand that the government borrows money from you all the time. That's how this part of the research was started. It's proven that the treasury gets their money from you. All of the money comes from you, from nobody else, because it comes from you. Treasury Financial Manual, on the site, people. It's already there. Heads of governments and departments shows you how they get their money, how it's allocated by conglomerate risk. Cash and deposit funds, because I knew that that was a legal term, so I looked up deposit funds. When you guys do the information, when you look up the information, you do the research, you'll see that you loan money to the government all the time. That there are trust funds set up regarding every time you pay taxes for whatever you're paying taxes for, those statutes, those are trust laws. Because they're handling trust monies. Because you have to pay taxes. So in order for you to pay taxes, what did they do? They set it up, they set up, they set it up, a trust account. There are rules and regulations for how those trusts are handled. Who is the accountant? Who handles this? Who does this? Who allocates this? Who allocates that? Well, if the government can enter into trust agreements with you, do you not also have the same right to enter into a trust agreement with the government? Well, if that's the case, could you not create oh, a promissory note with the government and loan the government your Full faith and credit? Weren't we looking up full faith and credit a moment ago? So if you could loan the government your full faith and credit, then by giving the government your full faith and credit, can you not say, oh, you have until then to pay me back? Now, some of you guys are going to be stupid because some of you are just stupid, okay? Literally, some of you are stupid. So I'm, I'm just saying it like it is. Some of you are so dense that you, 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 you can't even be x-rayed. Okay, because you're that dense. So, embedded in each contract is a limited amount of funds being loaned to the government on a yearly basis. Not every six months, not every seven months. There's an interest basis there. Okay, the reason for this is that if the government borrows money from me, and the government is hurting right now, the government says that it had to borrow money in order to help other Americans. So, I'm going to help the government by loaning the government my full faith and credit, and I'm going to put a value on my full faith and credit. And the government's going to be the trustee because they're just receiving a loan. And I'm going to document that in the trust agreement and I'm going to create a receipt. 
of my loaning the government the money I'm loaning. When I loan the government this money, it has a year, one year, pay back. Then I go to an arbitrator. And the arbitrator will determine whether or not there's been a breach of that agreement. Now, nobody can come to you and say, no, the government, you can't do that. Why can't I? The government borrows money from me. That means I have to agree to it. There has to be a consent. And that consent has to be in writing. Cannot be implied consent because I never intended that. So all of my consent is implied because I disavowed all those other con uh, contracts made during infancy. I've attained the age of majority. Now that I am no longer an adult, now that I am gaining control of my securities, then I do with my credit as I please. They haven't come to me. Well, the government this and the government that. Oh, so they did come to me. Well, good. That was my counteroffer. Well, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, you see how this says, and full faith and credit? This is going to explain to you that it is your full faith and credit that keeps this government going. Now, I don't know if they're going to do that. Watch. Okay. Hold on. Even though we're not talking about everything we talked in that video, the one that I didn't record, we are talking about the things we talked about in that video. So we're going to do control F and then we're going to do control V and then we're going to do enter 43 times for 60, 80. Well, I'm sorry, that's five words. So five goes into, we're almost at 140. Okay, 130 goes in 20, almost 27 times, full faith and credit is mentioned. See, because it also did and. So let, let's see where we at next. What's the next one? What's the list of explanation of full faith and credit? Okay. The Supreme Court ruled that state courts are ordinarily required as a matter of the full faith and credit clause. Okay, so we are the late arrival of the full faith and credit of sister state laws. Don't care about that. Full faith and credit revisions, section 1028, and the absence of resort to full faith and credit clause. The construction... Our Constitution declares that full faith and credit shall be given to each state to the public acts, records, and judicial proceedings of every state. Full faith and credit. The government gets full faith and credit only from the people. Cannot get full faith and credit from itself. That's why the Treasury can't just print money and just start spending. They have to borrow it from the people first before they can spend it. So whenever you hear Biden or anybody talking about stimulus, that's you. And then they're going to charge you taxes on it. Why? Because when prices go up, you pay them taxes. Look, ladies and gentlemen, I was tired. I just got to go because I got a lot of work I got to complete. Y'all take care. Stay up and know that the information is on the site. The same information that we've shown you here today. Why? Because that information is impotent. All right. Yeah, I was looking for maintenance and education here. But my hope is that you guys will appreciate the information. Oh, got one other thing I talked about in that video. Last thing I'm going to say. You know, there are a lot of people on this planet who believe the earth is flat. Okay, if the earth was flat, where's the water going? No, 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 no. If the earth was flat, where's the water going? See, I know that nobody's sitting up there going to the edge talking about, Hey, Jim, Jim, you can hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Uh, uh, what, what's happening? Well, uh, there seems to be a wall. A wall? Yeah. A wall. Man, I can see it right there. I see right through the wall. You know, if I was on the other side, I could probably see the fish underneath me going bloop, 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 bloop. Yep, but there's a wall here. Nope, the water ain't going nowhere. It just stopped. Yeah, this is the edge of the earth. Yep, been to the ends of the earth, so this is it. All right, Jim, thank you. Hey, bro, don't say nothing about it. I don't know how we're going to get back. There's so much water current coming to this wall that whew, we almost got smashed a second ago. So I, I have no idea how we're going to be able to turn back. I don't think we got enough power to turn this thing back. That's too much water current. Okay, but we're going we gonna to make it back, all right? Or we're going to drown time. All right. All right, see you later.
we have individuals who believe in evolution. Ladies and gentlemen, evolution says everything was created from one minute particle. Well, that minute particle is called the God particle. Go, no, 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 shut it out. Go ahead. Scientists has already theorized. It's called the God particle. That thing from which everything derived from, the great cause. That's why it's called the great cause, because he's the greatest God who ever lived. Do you understand? They keep saying stupid things, and people believe the stupid things. For instance, all the planets, every single one of them, different sizes, different shapes. But if they all came from the same thing, why are they different sizes, different shapes? Why is there so much variety if everything came from the same thing? Should everything be exactly almost identical? But that's not the case, is it? Dogs and cats and horses and buses, not the same thing, is it? Well, buses are not organic. Why not? Why not? Why aren't buses organic? Well, because exactly. There's a reason. So there's also a reason why everything is not identical. Why, why Jupiter is bigger than the Earth. Why Jupiter is bigger than all the other planets in our solar system. Combined. Now they're estimating that there are over 100 billion 100 billion, I mean, excuse me, I, I'm sorry, you, you ain't heard me, 100 billion trillion stars in the universe. Now, you, you thought I was just going to stop at 100 billion, huh? No, 100 billion trillion stars. So just take a trillion and multiply it 100 billion times, and that's how many stars they're estimating in, that's in the universe. Yep, certainly came from one little bowl of soup that nobody knew what to do, so they just threw it out in the middle of this vacuum, this little black, black, black velvet, little, little, little tablecloth. Yeah, right, that makes a lot of sense. Sorry, I just had to say that because I was thinking about that as I was thinking about this waterfall right here. Now, again, as I was thinking about this waterfall right here, ladies and gentlemen, that's a lot of power. That's a lot of power. If this earth was flat then where is the water coming from we see where it's going but how is it being replenished how nope can't do that because it will be trillions of metric tons per year impossible impossible because if that was the case there'd be no droughts yeah there ain't no flat earth but people say there is Gotta go, y'all. Take care. Eyes out. Goodbye.